Aber man kann nicht mehr mit dem Abteil, der sich entwickelt hat, hat sich nicht mehr mit dem Abteil. For the day of reckoning is near, and his people must be restored to their home before his final judgment can be taken place. We are living in the evil time and in a time of great trouble, in a time of the threat of universal destruction of nation. The so-called Negro, the lost and found members of a mighty nation, must know the truth. They have been deprived of the knowledge of self and others. The greatest work that we must do, according to the nation, that Almighty God and the President Master Farad Muhammad give to me, It is to make known the four lost and found members of the black nation the true knowledge of stuff, their history, and the knowledge of their slave master, and the history of their slave master, and the work of their slave master, the creation of their slave master, and the nature of their slave master. And their uh, nature, and their uh, non-birth record, and non-ending. This particular people, the lost and found nation of Islam, and they now are called by Almighty God. A very beautiful thing. A nation of peace. A nation that whom he himself desires. For himself to rule in the hereafter, nation of the earth forever. They are so insignificant to the eyes of the builders of civilization today that even long before our Spain are being kidnapped and brought into the Western Hemisphere. And other prophets, both ours. Abraham, both ours. And Ruth. And declared that God said to him that he be being the so called American Negro, members of the Abraham thing, uh, people, would be lost. And <clears throat> They will be lost among and would serve for 400 years. He would judge and would return Abraham's people to their own people and to their own country again. This we see in the weddings of the day. By the message in which I am delivering that he has given to me. There is nothing left. For the only thing that is necessary as to this message is God himself to come and finally judge the wicked and appoint each party that does. But to make the poor so-called American Negro to have knowledge of himself, make them to know the truth of those who have through him and his people for the last 406,000 years. We have much trouble trying to get the truth over to them. For the truth is not wanted by the wicked. The truth hurts the guilty. Therefore, they're working out positions to get them and trying to keep the so-called American Negro from even listening to it, so they know that it is their salvation. But they do not like that you even listen to the truth today. And 
you will fighting. But up attention coming from them and even to persecution. And there is a long set in prison house without being guilty of anything whatsoever. Just for a thing. Of the truth. These people that call themselves Christians, the followers of Jesus and God, his Father, will persecute you. They will do all kinds of evil against you. They hate you to accept this life. They hate you to go back into your own nation's holy name. Such names as the Karani, Shabbat, and Baratan, Muhammad, and Hassan, Hassan, and many other names, which means very good and names of God Himself. They think that you have these great names over their names, such as Mr. Bird, Mr. Wood, Mr. Fish, and Mr. Stone, which does not mean anything. Does not mean the holy name of God. They do not go in the name of God. These are people that your Bible speaks of as having the name of the wicked and whose name will be destroyed at the end of the world along with the wicked. And their destruction, God will destroy even their names from the days of the earth because it is not their name. And David says in his times that they mean in the wicked is not called by that name. And that God should not have mercy on them. They are not his people. Now he called by his name. The Bible calls it with a wine, the joyous, and means that all that has the name of Almighty God was seen, delivered from the power of hell, that the beast and his false prophet was cast in. The so called American Negro must remember that the beast. That doesn't represent a full-footed beast. It's a people. It is the people that they have signed for the last 400 years. That the God himself is now judging and now leading into confusion and the conflict after conflict. There will be no peace among them until they deliver the dead the natural deaths of all Negroes. There must be a them are making a trip to try to prevent your deliverance at the present time by attacking me, the Muslims, who they know are not going over to our God. And they have no right whatsoever or authorities against us because we are the more their servants. We are servants of the Most High, whose proper name is Allah. They know these things, but to put fear in you, to try and stop you from coming over, they will prosecute the Muslims, they will seek evil of them. Nevertheless, they know that we have the truth. The truth that has been revealed from the mouth of Almighty God, Allah, and that this truth will free you from their power, as they know as well as I. But it is in their particular power, as it was given to them, to persecute you, that's fine. I have served five years, most of that time, in jails in federal penitentiary for this truth not for the cause of committing acts of evil or 
Thank you, dear Lord. Thank you for this hour, Pastor Jim. Was I sent into prison? I said, my beloved followers, I am patient, suffer a little while, but still I Deliverance is on its way. And you shall be delivered, and you shall rejoice. When others will be greeted. Who have persecuted you and have even planned your death. Fear not, you have no one to fear but Allah. Do not fear this evil world and its people. They cannot harm you as long as Allah is with you. And He is ever with you as long as you are with Him. I say to you, they are talking and preaching to you not to believe your own history. The entire coming mob. The last added is to get you to that entire coming mob. The last added is to get you to that man. Your history is great. So all American Negro has never known anything about his history or his people, his to the young. The entrance of slavery 400 years ago. Well, Almighty God, Allah has revealed long before ever there was a Caucasian, a white race upon the face of the earth, you and I, and our fathers was. Not just thousands of years, not just hundreds of thousands of years, not just millions of years, not just billions of years, but trillions of years. Because according to the word of Almighty God, Allah to me, that we and our fathers were here. There is no birth record, meaning there is no beginning record of the black people. They have been here forever and forever. There. We don't know nothing about them again. There is no prophesy of any ending to them. If it knows, the whole world knows it. The truth it is that we are the people of God. Our Father was the creator and maker of heaven and earth, and we are the children of that Father. He made us to know the Caucasian history from the beginning to the very end. We have it, we are teaching. And beyond this, shall have a doubt. It is the truth. I said, even the history that they have of themselves bears witness that what Allah has revealed is the truth. But you should know yourself. You should know the history of yourself and your father, and your nation, and you will not be the type of people that you are anymore. It will straighten you up and lift up your head. It will give you a new step. It will give you a new language. It will give you a new expression. It will give you a new heart in the place of the heart in which Satan, the devil, has put into you for the last 400 years. It will make you to feel that it is worthwhile to live. It makes you to feel for the first time that you should love your own kind. It makes you to feel for the first time that you should get busy and do something for some. Make a way for some and your kind. This you will surely feel on that section of this great and mighty revelation that Almighty God has revealed to me concerning our nation and the race of Caucasia. You shall know this as the Jesus prophet I have it and according to what the Bible says, the pain in the mouth of them. And the third, the time, the eighth chapter and the 32nd verse, this truth you shall learn. 
you must know that there is not be no end or that there is there you know. That truth be the knowledge of your suffering time, knowledge of those who have ruled you, knowledge of the God, of evil and the God, of truth and righteousness. It is to be that you shall know this. No one should. You are a member of of a mighty people, a people of God. Go look for yourself as the mighty of this race has come to the night, seeking to find this time, something to teach him the knowledge of the original people of the earth. Even every time that they find in his side, in his stone, in his bone, that shows any sign of civilization before 6,000 years ago, they have to agree that it was of the black man's civilization before that civilization. We went to sleep 6,000 years ago to give this people a chance that ruined us. That time is up, and we are now getting up out of our 6,000 years sleep to take that home. And <laughs> the feet of a voice and rule in peace our people again forever. And never no more shall any of our people Rule. Never no more shall we tolerate with an enemy of justice. We all shall live in peace. We all shall do away with war. And there never shall be a war against man and man anymore. After the destruction and removal of the power of the war makers of the evil world that you and I now live in whose very nature it is to make war and trouble among the people of the earth and keep innocent blood boiling out of the veins of men. It is the people that by nature were created to destroy the peace of the people of earth that you and I have known and that know that is called the Caucasian race. The time draws near, and they always sharpen their instruments of weapons and is fashion more in the laboratory every day. They study for their weapons of destruction to destroy the human race from the earth along with them. This, I want to warn the American so-called Negroes, my people, that these days that they are living in, that we are living in, actually, and the opportunity that they think that, that they that the children have offered to them for a future, you should be very careful. You should be careful, careful, careful. I repeat and repeat. Have their second traps for your own destruction and deprive you of that beautiful salvation in which Almighty God of love in the person of Master Farah Muhammad has brought you. The integration is only a trap to catch the Negro and make him think that he is on the road to equality with his slave master's church, but only on the road to equality in the thing of the slave master and his church. I say you must be careful. If I control all that is now being used on the so-called Negro woman, you have to be careful, sister. It is to exterminate your race. It is to Absolutely. Make you non-productive. 
who wants that kind of a woman and how long will her age live if there is no way of producing a heat production? Stay away from sex pain. I even heard that some is absolutely taken unaware and deprived of this beautiful chance of producing human beings. It is a divine plan and a divine art that you should produce your own nation, your own self, to live on the life of your own. Come follow me, and Allah has declared to me that he will give to you, if you will follow me, my name, your own friendship in all walks of life. Come sit yourself in heaven at once. I thank you, my brother and my sister, and the world that is listening for this opportunity to speak to you at this hour, and I pray that I be right with you on the same hour at the same time next week on the same station as I say unto you and the language of the nation of peace. I salam alaikum.